This is milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Dot, dot, dot. So help me buy milk. Write down your name. Sure, I'm Cynic. Who are you? I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot the, what words to say when entering a store. <clears throat> I'm going to the store. Uh, yeah, who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? Ooh, very fourth wall right off the bat. Okay. So I thought if somebody was reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blurt out too much. Haha. <laughs> I take a deep breath of the air. Hello, can I... Can you what? Uh, what? Crap, I forgot. <laughs> okay, 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So, once again. Hello, can I get... Alright. Wow, that's a whole word more. Well done. Okay, trying your best. I think this time the sound was longer than usual. Okay. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything. <laughs> Don't worry, sure. Let's go to the store. You got this. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. Okay, so this is like an OCD anxiety sort of thing. You have to undo the previous step. He he he. How do you imagine that? Uh, it's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on, you're so stupid. Oh, let's do the top one. Let's not be a jerk. I, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Oh, here we go again. So... Step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Okay, <laughs> what do you mean, step one? What happened then? But it's already the 52nd. Oh wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 50th. It doesn't add up. Okay, step 50, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't like that. You're hopeless. Wow, they're not giving me very many options. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you'll be very guilty if you don't buy milk. Really? Well, are you ready? Yeah. I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... What the... What am I looking at? What is that? Oh... Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? What? Is this just gonna go forever? What? What is happening? You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Alright, so he's just repeating. <laughs> what is he trying to tell you? trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about an O? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind it'll cost me a dozen nerve cells. Oh, there's the O. Okay, so this guy's scared of either Sauron or a black hole or a sphincter, one of those things. Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh. Okay. My interlocutor shook and crawled away. Interesting. I unlocked an achievement. Oh, oh, oh. Weird. You just repeated after him, and it worked. Do it more often. Wait. I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Weird. I'm not sure what they're going for here. I'm standing by the shelves on the rack. There are bags of milk. We both stand and the milk lies. Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like not here? 
Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. You're getting on my nerves. Sure. Top one. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather the bag with milk inside. Okay. I know when I lived in South America, milk and yogurt and stuff often came in like bags rather than uh, cartons. Sometimes it was in boxes, but or rather a bag of milk inside a bag. Okay. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. What? Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. You get the idea. Come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes. Hurry up. I remember what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. And are visual novels worse than books? But their are authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your th thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. Hehe. <laughs> Ahem. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get it at home again. Who at home is going to give it to you? I'm on my way. All right. I'm not sure I understand this game yet. Hello, can I get some milk, please? Uh, and what is this? Like, it's so hard to see what's even going on. You have it. Ah. Give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I... Can I have it, please? No. Please. No. But please, Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. Dang, somebody's got a harsh mom. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Uh, he wants you to pay, obviously. They hate you, you're pathetic, pay for the milk. Wow, they've got some rude options here. Huh, really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash register. Thank you, goodbye. Interesting. I walk down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. Just love the pure pyramidal structure of the verb con and verbal constructions. Wow, let's try that again. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal structures of verbal constructions. There we go. Good job, Cynic. You can read sometimes. <laughs> the gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. Wow. All right. What's that supposed to mean? That's what I was thinking. As if I'd tell you. All right. Be that way. You're just a weirdo. I'm really interested. Uh, let's keep being nice. We're being nice, mostly. Let's do a nice run through and see what happens. The ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about <laughs> 30 to 1. Okay? And yeah, ice cream is not the best unless you want to drink more than eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station home is ice cream. Okay. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. All right. I see. I mean, I, I kind of get it. It's weird, but I get it. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt, grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plain? Gently heel toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk, even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Yeah, you're getting a run over that way, dude. Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Okay, I'm assuming that's a car. Hey, I'm walking here! Or just a big person, I guess. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Yeah, so it's gotta be a car. Those are like the brake lights. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. All right. That was close enough. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You're sick. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. Uh, I guess I'll go with that one, because that's slightly nicer. I'm not in the world you're talking about. All right. We've got a walking sign. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off healthily. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? Yeah, that was my question. What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? Uh, ooh. Uh, I mean, that's not mean. It's a question. That's what 
that's not what the manual said at all. All right. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. Uh, the pills have nothing to do with it. Uh, I don't know what the pills are, so let's just stay silent. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. If you say so, it could hurt your recovery. Uh, if you say so, I don't know. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for a cliched visual novel monologue. <laughs> I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. What is that? I don't even understand what they're looking at. <clears throat> Listen, I'm a little embarrassed, haha. I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm, not really. Oh, I get to type full text. I'll be honest with you, and I expect the same from you, please. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Well, I'm not really surprised. The end of the game, I guess? I don't know. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnoses. Okay. Let, let it... Lest at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. I, I don't know. I'm trying to guess that that should be lest, but... Even though I made you up, and don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. I still don't understand what we're looking at. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. Ha ha. What is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since ahem, something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. Oh, this is getting creepy now. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I even forgot what other colors look like. Come on, haha. -ha. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Okay? <laughs> Promise? <laughs> what happened? Of course you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? Sure. I won't waste time. What do you see? Uh, let's see. What do I see? What is this? Uh, I'm going to go with this is... Let's see. She was on a bench. She's somewhere near the bench. This could be like a bush. Maybe a rose bush. I'll, I'm going to say a rose bush. Let's see. Uh, what? Anyway, this is my dad. Oh, really? Uh, where? <laughs> Some of it is his parts, at least. Oh, okay. So he's a splat. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I never would have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out of the window and died. Oh, that's a splatted dad. Gruesome. This is my last memory. Then a long gap. So what's that? Strange, very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, oh no, what will he think? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. Ha <laughs> ha. What the, the, oh, the boundary, oh, the border box went away, okay. And yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know, day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy, haha. -ha. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you. You can't even, oh, that was very rude of you. I didn't get a finish. What the heck? Oh, no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. What? I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? So I think the, the text up here is the voice in her head. The text down here is her. And then I... It's only when I type that I get to say things? I don't know. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. 
oh, is this is this her head? And this is the rail, and then she's looking down here. I can kind of see it. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoyed the blissful silence. Where I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and... Oh, when I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Okay. Can't really tell what this is. Alright. Did you bring the milk? I assume this is the mother? The one she said would throw her out of the window? Hi, Mom. Okay. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. All right. <laughs> yes, Mom. Good talk. She looks like the creepy face mask at the end of Brazil. All right. Achievement milk bot. Okay. Does it just start over? What? I don't understand. This is weird. Uh, cynic placebo. That's, oh, I can only do that much? Let's just do cynic 2. Let's just see if it's any different, because I'm confused as to what's going on. I walk down the ro oh, do road. Go into the store. What are you talking about? Uh, let's be mean this time. Shut up and go already. Okay. Uh, so if I'm mean, what happens? Uh, yep. Yeah. I mean, it forces me to mean a little bit. It looks like it's the same so far, so I'm just kind of clicking through it. All right, so haha, -ha, loser, that's mean. Don't insult me, please. All right. Same things about one step off the pavement, undoing the steps, okay. Uh, and this time I will say, you're so stupid, because I'm trying to be mean. Oh. Interesting. So the achievement was not this time. Looks like Cynic 2 doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Oh, so I'm the drug. Interesting. Write down your name. Ooh. Well, uh... <laughs> Las drogas. Uh, I hope you can do it better than Cynic, too. Wow, okay. So this is interesting. Uh, I don't know how many uh, branch points there's going to be in this game. But it does look like there are at least some points where you can make, uh, you know, changes. Uh, so it'll be curious to see, you know, how many secret endings there are. So if you want to check this one out, it's called uh, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. And so if you want to check it out and see if there's some more Easter eggs that you can unlock, then go check it out. It's a simple visual novel. It's obviously a little bit dark about, you know, anxiety and fears and medication. But... Uh, you know, go check it out and see if this is one for you. But as always, I've been Cine Placebo. Thank you so much for joining me for this interesting little game today. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.